This, <laughs> my name is Amy Rabido. I'm 19 years old and I was diagnosed with Asperger's in ninth grade. I'm here volunteering at the Matthew Reardon uh, Autism Conference for today and tomorrow and I am very excited to help Daniel Wendler out with his event tomorrow and to see Dr. Temple Grandin. Now, I'm really excited to see Temple. What do you like about her? Um, I have to say the fact that she did um, do a lot of work herself to get to where she is and, and the determination she had to make um, a difference, it, it really inspires me to try and make a difference myself because I really want to be able to uh, make a difference too. I want to mm -hmm. be able to help other people out, which is why I did form the um, autism support group at my college. So where do you go to school? Armstrong State University. And your major? English professional communications. My hope is to become a writer. So what was it like growing up with the Asperger syndrome? Well, until I knew about it, I just kind of never really, I never felt like I did fit in. I was bullied a lot. I was called a crybaby because of my outbursts. I was um, made fun of for not keeping up with people in, in, during gym. And in ninth grade, I had um, gum flicked into my hair back when it was still blonde. So yeah, and you said that they put you said that they were you you were doing something and someone just poked you on the back of your it neck. It wasn't even really like a poke. It felt like it. Apparently, they were they claimed they were trying to flick gum into a trash can. Hmm. Yeah, right. Exactly. The, the only nice thing is that one of the people that was in um, that class was also in chorus. And when they pointed out that the gum was in my hair, because I walked all the way from uh, my geography class to chorus, the gum was in my hair. But that girl, she was the one that told me what they were doing. Mm. And was also there to help me get the gum out of my hair in the bathroom. Uh, so I appreciated that from her, the honesty. Uh, that had to be a nightmare. Did you have to cut it off? Um, I was actually going to be getting a haircut anyway, so the the gum was uh, the gum did was gotten out of my hair and but I did still get it chopped. I got it chopped um longer than it is now, but I just short shorter hair is actually a lot easier for me to manage anyway, mm -hmm. so it doesn't really bother me. Yeah. So um, now they say people with Asperger's syndrome have trouble communicating and issues with reading social cues. Can you tell me about those experiences? Sarcasm has not never been all that easy for me to understand. I'm, I've been getting better at it. Sometimes I do still have to ask people if um, they're joking around, but I've been getting a little bit better. The other issue is when I try to make jokes, people don't always get it, and lately I've had to start actually adding to what I'm saying. Um, I'm kidding, I swear. <laughs> <coughs> And they now you said earlier that you were making uh, jokes. People take you seriously. Yeah, that that um, <coughs> it, it upsets me sometimes. But I guess it's just the way that I I speak sometimes. Well, you know, it's because you're used to taking things literally from other people. So exactly. that's probably so, how you think too. Probably. So people, you know, you think you take things literally. People will take you literally because uh, that's the way your mindset is, and you're not even aware of it. Yep. Probably. So, unfortunate times. <laughs> so uh, can you tell me about your interests? Uh, I like anime. I like reading um, more of like the sci-fi um, uh, supernatural fantasy genre for books. Um, I like uh, Doctor Who, Star Trek, um, Sherlock. Uh, I like Supernatural, the TV show. Um, I also like uh, video games like uh, Kingdom Hearts, Fire Emblem, and Persona. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> um, so, can you tell me what uh, you and I have been doing all day? <laughs> Chatting randomly, um, excited for Temple Grandin, and my little pony. <laughs> yes, and Doctor <laughs> Who, and anime. Exactly. Well, and I, we made fast friends, didn't we? <laughs> Quite. Yeah. You know, should, keep up with it. well, uh, the lady that uh, put together this conference this year, 
said that she was going to um, introduce us a month ago. Yeah, and I figured you were on the spectrum because you just seem like that type, the nerd type. And a lot of people <laughs> on the spectrum are nerds. Yeah. So I figured out, yeah, yeah, she's on the spectrum. And then when you said, I said, oh yeah. And that's when you mentioned about the support group. And I said, I think that's what it started. I said, oh yeah, Patty was talking about you. She was going to introduce yeah. us, and that's how it worked. Well, uh, Patty was. Patty was like the matchmaker as far as friends go. <laughs> yeah, de definitely. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much. We're out of time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and be sure to uh, share these with your friends and your families and your peers and your mentors. And I would also like to interview you as well if uh, you have a chance. And do not forget to also comment. And do not forget again to share this and share and share and share. I'm signing off now. Until next time, I'm Maya.